Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. And last week, where where are you going, buddy? Oh, good. Right, last week, Rosina went on a blind date with this gentleman here, Francisco, and it was very successful. They actually got she she got a uh I mean it was bronze, but she got a prize, which is excellent. Is he leaving? Fran Okay. Maybe he has to go to work. I don't know. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone out there. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, she had a very successful date. Actually, build a snow pal with him. Um, uh, friendly. Where's snow pal? Quick. Before. Or do we have to click on the snow? I think we might have to click on the snow. Um... Build snow pal with. Okay. Why does Francisco not appear? All right, let's keep an eye on him. Anyway, she had a successful date, as in it didn't go badly. They didn't hate each other, and she got bronze. And so um, I played on for a little bit after I stopped recording, and I invited Francisco over, and then I stopped. So today it's going to be the seduction of Francisco I don't know okay secret ha oh yes he's an alien isn't he I think we established that we did establish that he is an alien so yeah we need to get the two of them because she needs to have she needs to leave someone at the altar but then marry as an elder so I think uh, no? Where's he going? Is he leaving? No? Francisco, keep still, please. I can't work out what you're doing. Friendly. Let me pause it. And then I don't feel so pressured <laughs> before he leaves the lot. Um, do we have snow gate, cloud gaze? There you go. Don't talk to, don't talk to Summer. Just cloud gaze. Are you asking him to cloud gaze? You're looking in his direction. That means nothing. Uh, Rosella did an important interview for a big article, but now the subject is offering her a bribe. Um, no, refuse the bribe. Because we have principles. All right, so the two of them are... All right, let's see if we can get our friend meter up. Because we need her... Because we need to complete the serial romantics. We need a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So we need to get them... We need to get... We need to make Francisco our boyfriend. So you two can do that. Um, oh, she has a good rep... Oh, excellent! Good, good, good. So that makes it a lot easier to talk to people because then her, um, now she has a good reputation and when she introduces herself to them, her meter would be half full already with them, which takes out a lot of, that makes life a lot easier. Okay, clone boy, you're sleeping. Summer, what are you doing? I think, I think one of the toddlers is, uh, that's not your son, that's your stepson, half son. I don't even know what he is. You've discovered, discovering aliens. You're living in a house full of aliens. Why is it so wonderful you've discovered an alien? And who's that downstairs? Is that the other corner? I've just realized I could see somebody's head. Who are you? Um, friendly introduction? Is that the other corner? Yeah, it is. Oh, she she's never talked to him? Okay. I thought she had. Okay, friendly introduction. Right, Rosina, how's it going? The two of you are just very happily lying in the snow, as you do. Are you cold yet? Cloud gazing, you want to use the toilet. Huh? Oh. 
Alright, well you go use the toilet. What else can we do? Um, let's see. Hello, Francisco's happy to be here. I wonder if we could leave him at the altar and then marry him again as an elder. But I've got, um, give residence keys. I've got M M MC Command Center. And... But then again, it doesn't say that you can't keep them as a boyfriend. It says that you're supposed to leave somebody at the altar. But, I mean, if, if they're good for each other... I could always make them boyfriend and girlfriend and then they just get married as an elder because MCCC will will pair him off with somebody. I mean, I'm sure there's some way I can flag it, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, share secret. No, don't go. Uh, joke about politicians. Tell dramatic story. <laughs> um, ask him on another date. Let's go on another date. Um, romance? I know, we don't have the option. He probably has to go off to work. Okay, do we have the option yet? Romance. No. Alright, it's going up. Which is good. Because, I mean, he said he had to go. Oh, he's a dog lover. Okay. He did say he had to go. But he's still here. Bright and day. Um, do we have an option? Should we try kiss hands? No, I don't. I don't want to risk that yet. Um, give gift. Simoleons. We can afford to give him simoleons. A thousand simoleons. That's fine. See, the, I mean, it, it did, uh, I, it did pop up, right? Yeah, he did say he had to leave, but he's still here. Yeah, he likes that. Um, ask to move in. That could work. Do you have any room in the, in the house? You know what? I didn't even find out if he was single. Okay, oh, he's from San Myshuno. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we have a full house. Uh, sell lot furnishings. Okay, well that's excellent because then now we don't have to... Oh, we've got full house. Now we don't have to worry about um, whether he's going to be... Well, he's going to be taken up by MCCC because um, he doesn't have a job. Okay, let's find you a job. What do you like? You want to be a... You're angling ace? I mean, we're not going to worry about your aspiration and stuff. Do you have any... What skills do you have? Charisma, dancing, fitness, and piano. I don't know. Let's just randomly pick a job. Because he's... He's important, but he's not that important. 
But if he's in the house, then we don't have to worry about him being a boyfriend or girlfriend. And something where I don't have to... Yeah, fish. You have a, a fisherman? That's a part-time job. Um, 33... Oh, we only work... No, it's... it's yeah. Alright, let's put him in the in the athlete career. That's only 16 pounds an hour though. 16 simoleons an hour. Uh, gardener is 20. Military is 26. Oh, we can make him in the military. Okay, run on the treadmill. Oh, yeah, cause I forget they have work from home stuff. Rosella, what's wrong? You're looking very fed up. All right, go and go have a bath. Auto solve that, and then go and sleep. Rosina, we need to work. Oh, we need somewhere for Francisco. To no, he can sleep with her. Cause I think I have a mod in there that lets you share a bed with somebody and you don't necessarily have to be in a romantic situation so that's fine um, Brighton day inside joke because we are going to although I've never done the she's got to leave him at the altar um, ask if single we should have done that first but even if he is single, <laughs> actually, that's if single, no. I don't want to know. Oh, he finds her, he finds her hilarious. This is awesome. Um, ask about siblings. I don't think you have any. Whippasoo Plingo. Can it, boy? Floy Masharno? Ha ha, yoyim! Skeeves Zapula, huh? Frankie Hisma. Ronj Banva. Ah. Loopspe. Benarba. Fraga. Freba. From. Uh, oh no. Jalarba Kiduni. Zinze Pohavin. Rinka Shalbo. Kobani. Japanese. Compliment outfit. Uh, your dad's home. Oh, now she's good friends with him. Awesome. Political career. Promote cause. And you need to, we need to work on her charisma because she needs it for, um, we need to get to level four. What level is she at the moment? I know she's at level three. Oh, wait, three percent, that's fine. All right, you can. Oh, do we have, can you get in from both sides? I can't really, oh, don't know. We'll see. All right, I just want the two of you to at least be dating. Um, I oh know that's Francisco. Complain about love life. Okay, well, oh, why do you want to complain about love life? Jealous. Oh, he's always oh, jealous. Okay, but that's okay. So, um, discuss interests, talk about dreams, let's just spam stuff, describe new idea, all of that good stuff. Um, enthuse about dogs, we're not getting any dogs though. So, you will have to look at them from afar. Oh, tell Baldra Amaga Jagorg. You um, ask about the day. 
Spinet? Holger Beret? Oh, Yabahorn! About Daba Boondle! Should I remove his disguise? Actually, I don't really want to. I can't think of anything else. Seven A. Are you going to roll any wants uh, to complain about love life? Well, complain about your love life then. What else you want to do? You want to catch a fish? Play an instrument. Okay, is she going off to sleep? Yes, she is. And then can you come and sleep with her? I don't know if that's going to happen. And Rosella, we're going to have to get you on a date with somebody. I think you need to move out soon, kind of. Oh, so you can get in that side. Awesome. Right, that works. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on you outside of outside of recording because really and truly we're trying to concentrate on your sister. I mean, it's unfortunate, but there you are. All right, Adrian, what are you doing? Adrian, what do we need for you? Um. We need to complete this, don't we? We need to complete this. So I think next time he goes into work and I'm not recording, I will go in with him and get the elements from somebody. So everybody's asleep really, apart from Summer, who's almost an elder. She's got four days. <laughs> He's got eight days. Uh, seventeen. Nineteen. Well, obviously you've got nineteen. Because you're twins. Five days before you age up. And seven days before Maya ages up. Okay. So we have a bit of time before we have a rash of birthdays. Alright, so let us... Put it on fast because all the people that we want to deal with they're all sleeping so i guess what we will do i'm going to come back when things start happening okay everyone's awake and it's winterfest i'd forgotten it was winterfest so um we're gonna get presents and stuff which is cool. I wasn't expecting that. Totally forgot about that. And is there no. another plate? I don't know how Sims managed to put plates on top of there. Because, you know, they can't literally reach it. All right, so if it's Winterfest, we need to get the tree. Do we have a tree in our inventory? No, we don't. Um, all right, let's put everything downstairs. Because you've got a bit more space downstairs. Not as festive, but we have more space. And... Put the tree up against the wall. We don't want to. It's fine. Let's put this in our inventory. Put that in our inventory. Because we don't really need it. The cloning machine, that can go up against the wall. And this can go in our inventory. Okay, right. Let the festivities begin. Everybody come downstairs, open presents, sing your songs and stuff. 
All right, six in the morning. Is everybody awake? Everybody is awake. Summer, you can... No. All right, clone boy. Now you're looking after a kid. Adrian, you can come and cook a bra grand meal. And seeing that you're vegetarian, it will have to be tofurkey. Yeah, because there's no other no other vegetarian options. Okay, who left the mess on the floor? Uh, you want to hang out with me? Uh, no, it's fine. It's Christmas Day. She's not going anywhere. Um, I want to see you, your days because you're electrocuted? Good grief, we almost lost you. Take off your disguise because I want to see you without your human stuff. Okay, you're wearing a shirt. Oh, you're... I don't know why all my aliens have that that thing. All right, let's change you. Okay, so I've got him all sorted, and he's a pale-skinned alien, just like uh, Rosina. So you know, but that's good. Let's get you uh, Rosina. Does everybody have? Oh no, your dad's cooking. Cooking his big old breakfast. Why is everybody wearing their winter clothes in the house? I don't get that. Is that a, 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 a glitch? Because I've noticed that across my saves. Once it's winter, everybody's in their winter clothes in the house. Which is annoying. Alright, well you want to use a toilet. We might need more than one toilet if we've got a full house of aliens. Aliens? Full house. Full stop. Oh, clone boy, why are you cooking? You can't see Adrian cooking? That's the most annoying thing ever. There's no trash can? There is a trash can. There's the trash can. All right, that was just weird. Open. What's our oh, eggs and toast? Put that in the sink. All right. Um, is the food ready? Right. Um, call to grand meal. Just don't. All right, uh, toddler, child, what's that that's busted? Toddler, child, you take some. Are you, are you taking? Yes. Other toddler, child, do you have? Yes, you do. Adrian, do you have? No, you don't. Come and take the food. Uh, pick up a serving. Uh, no thank you Izzy, we don't know you. Do we know you? I don't know. Summer, do you have food? Summer's at the table. Kids are sleeping on... sleeping? Kids are sitting on the sofa. Clone boy's talking to the kids. Adrian? No. Food. Food. You want food? Pick up a serving. Thank you. All right, well, you two sort yourself out. Uh, Rosina, you can talk to, become best friends, uh, enjoy company. Oh, you two. Oh, brilliant. All right, so let's start on the romance now. 
Ah, uh, romance. Compliment appearance. Adrian, did you have food? No, you didn't. See, if you don't tell the Sims what to do, there's, there's, there's kill themselves. Right, Rosina. Are you chat with Francisco? Romance. Embrace. And exchange numbers. Why should they exchange numbers? They know each other. Flirt. Alright, why are we not seeing a romance bar? Please? Suggestive? Okay. There should be a romance bar. Attempt to seduce. Confess attraction. <laughs> Kiss under the mistletoe. Amorous exchange. This is going good. See, this is how sim romances are supposed to go. Um, first kiss. Flirt. All right, it's amorous. That's awesome. Um, steamy. Yeah, that's good. We've had first kiss. Kiss under the mistletoe. Do we get like passionate kiss and all of that? Yet. Whisper seductively. Yep, this is going good. See, this is how sim romance is supposed to go. Okay. Alright, tradition complete. Yeah, that's awesome. But I want the two of you asked to be boyfriend. That's it. Did they just do the automat? They did it autonomously. They did it autonomously. I might have uh, have three have three first kisses. Okay, this is gonna be. All right. Okay, we can do this. Oh, there's four. Okay. All right. Um. Right, let's get you two to woohoo because we don't have to worry about children because there's no room in the house. We have a full house. And then after you guys have done that, then we can open presents and is that something that's not working down there? I can see flashes. Oh no, <laughs> it's summer on the treadmill. I could just through the slats, I could just see flashes of pink. I thought it was like something's not working. Oh dear, right, three first kisses. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So we're gonna have to sneak around. Uh, why did you run back in clone boy? Run inside, why? Why? That's a bit random. I've never seen that before. Your recent amorous activity has re has revealed that Francisco is an alien. Uh, we knew that. They didn't know that they were aliens. Never mind, they're not in their... D oh, never mind. And he's still dazed. How long are you going to be dazed for? Three hours. I can't believe I missed him being electrocuted. Okay. Um Aww. Right. 
Well, at least we've achieved our objective, which was um, to have boyfriend, have to get to be boyfriend and girlfriend. We've done that. And like I said, they don't have to worry about kids, so we can just have them woohooing all over the place and get up to the whole let's get married thing. But we might leave that for a little bit. Might leave it for a little bit. I don't know, because she's got, she's got to focus on her career. Um, Sam, are you still on the treadmill? Yes, you are. Because you have to go on the treadmill. And Rosina, you have to work on your charisma. Um, practice speech. Or should we just buy another treadmill? I think we might just buy another treadmill. There you go, another treadmill. Go work out, because that's what you have to do, right? For work, run on the treadmill. Yep, you go work out. And of course, now that I've done that, Summer decides, yeah, I'm getting off now. Thank you, Summer. You know, you're really helpful. So you're working on your charisma. Awesome. And we'll leave you working on that. We will leave Francisco running on the treadmill. And this is where I'm going to leave it. As it's that time of day, it's at the end of the episode. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, as that really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.